We're going to get the ultralight back up in the air today, so we're going to try four cell. And I've gone over a bunch of charts with the motors and different props and, it, and doing the math. And it looks like I'm basically going to have to run four cell to get this thing up in the air and flying properly with enough thrust. Now, this uh, the way we're running it right now is probably not going to be the end solution because I still don't think it's going to be enough, but we should be around. 500 grams of thrust more than we were before so um, same motor the uh, 780 kV motor with a 13 by 8 by 3 prop and then the same ESC which is going to be pushed pretty dang hard during this flight uh, I have another ESC coming but and then we're also going to be running a 3300 milliamp 4 cell so we should have at least 500 grams of thrust more with this setup even over the 15 by 7 by 3 prop that we were running the main reason I want to run this is because uh, twice now um, on two different landings the prop had hit the ground uh, during the landing because the prop is just too long unless I make like an absolutely perfect landing on concrete the prop is just too long so I'm really trying to make this 13 by 8 work now uh, we're gonna try to fly it see how it goes I'm certain it'll work because According to the math, we do have quite a bit more thrust than we had before, so it should work. Um, how well, uh, we'll find out. But I think the end solution for this is going to be a slightly higher KV motor, like somewhere closer to a thousand, something not too high so it can handle the prop, but not too low like this so that we have such low RPM that we don't get the thrust we need. My goal for this is to have at least around 4,000 grams of thrust. Um, during this flight, we should be somewhere above 3,000. Um, but we'll just see how this goes. And if it goes well, then we'll kind of go from there. So we got our takeoff flap. And oh, let's nothing. double check. Good. Elevator. Okay, we got elevator. All right, here we go. Okay, so that was taken off without full throttle. That's only like 60% throttle. Okay, let's get out of the flaps. See, you can see when I took the flaps off. I can definitely tell we have more thrust. Because I'm not even at 100% right now. Uh, we're probably at like 70%. And we're flying as good as we were yesterday. Look at that sucker go. Yeah, we, we don't even have to, we don't even need a uh, full throttle and we don't need flaps. So yesterday with the 15 by seven by three prop on three cell, we had to have the takeoff flaps on the whole time because if we didn't, um, uh, we just didn't have the lift needed but this is going without the flaps and lower throttle um, I think we're somewhere around 65% throttle look at that thing go it's huge I can't believe it it's doing awesome well do full throttle dang it's quick <laughs> yeah, it'll it'll do full throttle for sure, um, but we we don't need it, which is was my goal. I don't want to have to fly this thing at full throttle. That's just not good, not good for the motor. Hello, or the ESC. Uh, can you or like what's the lowest throttle you can fly it at? So I do need to do oh, some tuning. Um, I guess we'll have it up in the air and it's actually flying pretty well. I'm gonna do some tuning. I do need some. Um, do need some oh, oh elevator
does seem to be doing good. So I do have some tuning to do for sure. Um, You want to do a touch and go? <laughs> um, no. I'm not really ready for that yet. Don't want to wreck it. I'm trying to get it to fly flat. Um, I don't have safe on right now. Um, I'm not sure about our fly time either because we do have a smaller battery. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to throttle it back a little bit and put our, oh yeah, see that, see that lift? <laughs> put our flaps on and I'm going to, I'm going to slow it down. Oh yeah, look at that extra lift we're getting. So that's not, that's not full flaps, that's half flap. Uh, I'm going to turn it around and see if we can't make a, a safe landing. Okay, that was that was full flaps. Uh, Way too much lips. Oh, oh. Ripped off the motor. Dang it! <coughs> Get in the bushes. Oh yeah, dang yeah! Ripped it right off. <laughs> so hard not to do that but these these dang and plus my motor mount it's freaking tired all right let's see no no damage yeah everything looks okay besides the dang motor this motor mount is just toast um Our ESC um, is warm, but it's not it's not too bad. The motor's a little hot. Where's the um, other screw? Oh, I don't know, but... Probably somewhere around here. That's not that big a deal. Um, it does good. So that was a good flight. Uh, bring it over here. Besides losing the dang motor again, um, so the motor is pretty warm, so that tells me that I'm going to probably have to step up the motor. It's getting a little too hot, even only running like 70%. And then also, um, if you see here how much elevator I have to keep the nose up, um, I'm wondering if it's too nose heavy um because that's a lot of that's a lot of elevator i had it i have it basically maxed out for the trim and i still had to uh hold hold it back a little bit um so yeah we get a shot of that so that either tells me that it's too nose heavy or this wing isn't getting uh very much of lift because as soon as I put on uh, takeoff flaps, it just goes right up. And then try to do full flaps, it just goes straight up. Um, it's just like a ton of lift. So I'm just, I'm not 100% sure what that means. Um, I do know that that is a ton of trim. I'm gonna set that back at zero because that's just ridiculous to have to have a trim like that. What I might try to do is maybe move the battery back a little bit and see if that makes any difference. Um, yeah, um, I'll have to do some research and try to figure out what's going on there and figure out why it keeps trying to go nose down. Um, but otherwise, this thing flew really good and it actually did really good on 4 So When we get home, we'll check the voltage on the 4S. Uh, we ran it for, I think about three minutes or so, three and a half minutes, um, and it, it seemed to do okay. Um, I have a bigger ESC coming, so the ESC will be solid, but it looks like 
this motor uh, is definitely working pretty hard, even at 70% uh, throttle or so. It's still a little bit much with this prop. Um, so I might have to step up the motor a little bit. Um, otherwise, it's doing really good. We'll see you guys in the next one.